<laughs> Lana, how do you do? How's it going? You you made a new Matrix. I, we're, we're supposed to come out just get yeah. shot out of a cannon, and sometimes I come out like, how's it going? What's up? Uh, yeah. uh, why why now? What why is why is now the right time for more Matrix? Wow. Um. Oh. Okay. Yeah. You just come out and get to like <laughs> ask the gigantic question that is like. It wasn't planned. It was not orchestrated in any way. It was just something happened in my life, and I needed to process some grief and. And uh, I, I really kind of needed to have all of these people around who knew my parents. And I mean, it, it very much feels like a reunion. And I mean, I've, I've you know, heard you say that it came from a place of grief, but it is, it is also surprisingly funny. It is a very, it's easily the funniest Matrix movie. And was that, was that deliberate going in? Were you, I feel like you had a lot of fun with this. Uh, yeah, I guess I did. <laughs> I, I, you know, I've made... Um, a lot of movies uh, with a lot of varied tones. I think that's like a part of what me and Lily do. We bring a lot of, uh, uh, we don't really like single toned films and and I know they're very popular, but I kind of like a really wide range. And I thought it was like another dimension to the Matrix, another like thing to bring to the Matrix that wasn't so much there before. And, and it was, um, you know, I love this portrait of, of Rembrandt near the end of his life, so much has gone wrong. His wife has died, his, his child has died, and he doesn't know what to do with his life, and he's about to lose his house, and all this like bad stuff is happening. But he just goes upstairs and he paints this unbelievable, crazy self-portrait of him as, as like a, a John the Baptist, right? No, uh, portrait of John, yeah. And he's like, what am I gonna do? And he's just yeah. gonna keep painting. And well, so that's what I decided to do. Keep making a film, and that's what I did. I'm really, really, really glad you, uh, <laughs> you you did, too. And on behalf of myself and the Internet and the whole world right now, like, you said that this movie came from creating from a place of grief. And I think, I mean, for me, like, the past two years, everyone has been in such a place. So when I heard that this was coming back, I, it made my not even day, month, or year. It, it brought so much to me. So oh. to the fact that you have revived, you know, these characters and that you brought this back into my life personally is just oh. tears, multiple tears. When watching the trailer, I could sit here and <laughs> I could, uh, I could, I could, all, I could recite the new trailer to you word for word. I've watched it so many times. Like, yeah, so Aww. just from the bottom of my heart, I know it's not a question format, but I just <laughs> want to say thank you for doing this so much because it's very healing for me and all of us. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. And now I feel like a jerk for asking a question. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's good. Um, I was going to ask, uh, you were very involved in the uh, Enter the Matrix video game at a time when I feel like video games weren't taken quite as seriously. Nobody. Yeah. What, um, would you ever get involved with game development? Would you ever want to make a new game in you know, the future? Oh, oh real engine is there. Uh, well, you know, Kim Liberi is a really good friend of mine. I love him. John Gaeta, of course, has been sort of like interested in game worlds and I love him and I'm really drawn to people so if the right people came and said hey let's do something together I would probably say hell yes but as like a project to just say I'm gonna go make a video game now I really like I do things for people that's fair yeah um so I don't want to I feel like I'm not gonna get shot out of a cannon for this one but uh what what is the biggest difference that you can think of of making I guess as a filmmaker, you know, whether it's technologically or culturally, of making a Matrix film now versus when you were making them previously. I feel like a lot's changed. What's, uh, yeah, what's, what's, what's gotten easier? First, let me just say, you look sensational. <laughs> you did really with the like pill dress. Look. Yeah. It's like Malta and the, and the A and the A. And I like this. It's really, the texture is really working for me. Black on black on black. My favorite designer over there, one of them. Ooh. Esther, she loves black on black. Well, you just, anyway, yeah. okay, back. Back to the question. I would say, have things changed? Yes, of course. Has technology changed and made? Yeah, of course. Are filmmakers always like just trying to go just beyond the edge of what's possible? Yeah, of course. For this one, um, you know, there were things that I wanted to do that were uh, like, like I couldn't just do a kung fu scene because uh, so many people had already done what we did. So I wanted to make a little bit of a joke or a little bit of a humor out of the way the last 20 years of digital 
technology has changed us. And so the Merovingian is in there ranting away about <laughs> the digital age. And, and so this was, I guess, the humor you're talking about. It's like, I can't imitate myself. Everyone else has been doing it for, or imitate, you know, what we've done, Lily and I did. <laughs> well, Lana, we're happy you're doing it. We're happy there's another Matrix. And uh, yeah, just keep, keep creating. <laughs> oh, the Merovingian. Just even those words. Oh, yeah. Because, oh, you yeah. know, knowing that we're going to see him again. Ooh. No, it's very exciting. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for a lovely interview. You guys were so sweet for the first one. You thanking us or is very ironic. No, thank you uh, for doing this. Thank you. <laughs> I hope uh, if you're going to watch it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah we'll be about, in there. about 10 to. Oh, okay. Noise. We'll make some noise. So much.